We are here in Excel Chapter 1. We've got the Excel 1 SAM end of module project 1. So I'm going to click on this here. You've already done the SAM training and now we're ready to do the project. So it's loading my content here. I'm just going to get rid of that little box there. Here's my assignment. And I'm going to have my instructions come up here. I'm going to click on Start. And here's my instructions. Coming up down here in the bottom. And I'm going to click on the Start file. So I'm going to open up my instructions. And I'm going to do a little, this a little different than I did in Word. I'm actually going to show you uh, how to put your screen and your Excel on the same page. So up here at the top of my Word document, my instructions, I'm going to click over and I'm going to grab that. I'm just going to move it over to the side so that it fits on one half of my screen here. And now I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to grab my Excel file, have it come up here, and I'm going to grab the top of it. I'm going to enable editing, grab the top of it, and do the same thing. I'm just going to move my mouse clear over the edge. So then I've got my Excel starter document on one page, one side of my screen, and my instructions on another part of my screen. So over here on my instructions, I've got my file open. Now I'm going to save it with my last name. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to go to the File tab, do a Save As, and I'm going to Browse, and I um, don't think I have a folder on my desktop on this one. I'm using a different computer, so I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop, and that new folder I'm going to put uh, Summer 2020 Computer Apps. open that folder and now I'm going to name that um, SCEX 19 E O M I 1 1 it should be your first name and last name I'm going to take this one I'm going to backspace get rid of that one and make that into a 2 I'm going to save it then the next thing it wants me to do is make sure in B6 that it has my name so here's uh, column B Row six, make sure your name is right there. If your name isn't there, you need to resubmit your file. So now I'm ready for my project steps. I'm going to click over here on my instructions, scroll down just a little bit so I can see them. And here's some background information. Now it wants me to go to the current accounts worksheet. So down here at the bottom, I'm in my documentation worksheet right now. I'm going to open up my current accounts worksheet here and in cell E2, so here E2, I'm going to make that my active cell and it wants me to cut that from E2 and paste it to L2. So I have it selected. So I can come up here and I can click on the scissors to cut or you can hit control X now I'm going to come over here to A2 and I'm going to paste. And it's going to, it looks like it's an A and B, but it's basically just an A. So now for number two, I want to copy Jordan's name in J2 and paste it in cell J11. So I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to go to J2. Now since I have my Excel spreadsheet just on half of my page. I have to come down here to the scroll bar to scroll over here to column J. And there's J2. And it wants me to copy. So cut and paste is a little different. Copy. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click copy. And it wants me to paste that in J11. So I've got J2. I'm going to come down here to J11. And it wants me to paste it there. So I'm going to click on the paste. Then it wants me to clear the contents of cell J2. So up here in J2, you might still have your, I call it my walking ants 
lines. To get those off of your page, you just hit your escape key on your keyboard and those will go away. It wants me to clear the contents. So up here in my editing group, I have clear. You click on this little arrow here. It says clear all. So I can clear all. I can just clear the documents. I can just clear the formatting and take it to no formatting. We want to do clear all and we're ready for number three. In C3, intercompany is the column heading. So I'm going to move this back over here. I'm going to go to C3 and I'm going to type in company. Make sure you spell things correctly. Your grading, if you've noticed in Word, is particular. It will look at your spelling and your punctuation, so make sure. I want to change the font size of range A3 to J3 to 12 point. Since I can't see everything over to J3, I'm going to come up here to my um, name box and I'm going to just type in A3 colon J3 and it's going to select that whole range for me. So you can use that name box to select a range or you can select A3 and then drag down to J3. I want to change that font size to 12 and I'm going to bold the contents so right here and then I'm going to use auto fit to resize J, G to their best fit. So I'm going to click down here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to G and I'm going to click double click on this folder on the column. So I'm just going to make my mouse go between like J and K. I'm going to have that vertical arrow and the horizontal line and double click and that auto fits the range to their best fit. So now I want to select the range A4 to A9. So I'm up here on my name box. I'm going to type in A4 colon A9 and enter. And it's going to select that range. And I want to apply the text number format. So I'm up here under number. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come over here to the general. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find text and select it and it's going to move that text over to the left hand, the left side of my cell range. And number six, I'm going to go to cell E5. So here's E5. Always make sure you have the correct cell selected. I'm going to use networking conference as a complete entry for the cell. So I can just type it in networking conference. You can see it already comes up. I can just hit the enter key and there it is. I've got networking con conference as the complete entry for the cell. Okay, now we're going to do something a little different here. So it might take me a few minutes to do this. So Ferranti and um, Dell Dahl has a company policy to contact their clients once every two weeks. So in H4, so I'm going to go to cell H Four. I want to create a formula without a function that adds 14 days to the date the client was last contacted. So let's look, look through this. I want a date that adds 14 to the last contacted. So here in G4 is my date. So if I come up here, if I let me try this. Let's do enter equals uh, G. Then I'm clicking G4 plus 14. Oh, hit the equal sign. Let me back that out. I want plus 14. So I want G4 plus 14. So it's going to add 14 days. I'm going to hit the enter key. And that should add the 14 days. So 14 days from 218 is 3, 4. I want to take that formula that I created here in H4 and I want to copy that down to H9. So I'm going to make H4 my active cell. I'm going to move my 
marker over until it's over that little square. So now it looks like a skinny plus sign. So now I'm going to hold down my left mouse key, my left mouse button, and I'm going to drag down to H9, let go of my left mouse button, and you can see anytime it's 218, it added 14 days, 3, 4. 218 plus 14 is March 4th. 225 plus 14 is March 11th, and so on. 226 is March 12th. So now I have added put the dates, hey, we last contacted them and we need to follow up by this date. In J6, you can see there's nothing there. We want to enter three, four, six, seven, five as the contract amount for Clarecom. So I'm just gonna put those numbers in and hit enter. And it's gonna automatically format that to be our currency symbols. In J10, so I'm here J10, it wants us to enter a formula that uses the sum function to add J4 to J9. So up here in the editing, uh, we have our auto sum. I can click down on the arrow button, and here's the sum function. Select that. What you want to do when you use the sum function is make sure that your range is collect correct. In this instance, we wanted sum, open parentheses, J4, colon, J9, close parentheses. And you can see my little running ants folder here, border. I'm going to add up all of these areas, and that's correct. That's what I want. Now I can either hit the enter key, or I can click this enter button right up here, and it's going to add that, 310, 140. So number 11, I want to change the orientation of the worksheet to landscape and then change the print scaling to fit the sheet on one page. So up here on the page layout, I want to change this orientation to landscape. Then I want to change the print scaling to uh, fit the sheet on one page. So let's look at this. If I click on the dialog box launcher here. I now have this page set up. I've got come over here to my sheet tab. Um, and that's not what I wanted to do. Go to page. I want it to fit the sheet on one page. So I'm going to fit to one page by one tall and click OK. And if I want to do print preview, I can come up here to file and click on print. And it's going to show me in this little box right here exactly what the page would look like. So what you can do is over here in the instructions, now you can look down and this is what your final worksheet should look like. Here we go. So now I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to click on this icon up here and I'm going to close it. And I'm going to close these and well, no, I'm not going to close the instructions yet. I'm going to shrink them. Go back to Blackboard, which for some reason I closed. I'm not sure why. I'm going to go back to that assignment. So I have to log back in here, so work with me here for a second. Go back to Blackboard. Go back to my class. And find that assignment here. It's in Module 4. And we're looking the looking at the Excel Sam One module project one. I'm gonna bring that assignment back up. I'm gonna click on the start button. I've already downloaded it. Now I'm ready to upload. So I'm gonna click here 
to drag and drop, I'm going to find that assignment and I put that in a folder on my desktop for summer 2020 computer apps. Here's my assignment. You click open. I'm going to get this check mark here. That means my names match. If you don't get a check mark, make sure that this is the same name that you've named your file. I'm going to click submit. And now I can view my report. And let's see how we did. Opening my report up in Excel. And it lets me know I have 100 out of 100. Now again, if you don't get 100 out of 100, um, look at the score sheet. Check it over. See where you got marked off at. Maybe you need to redo something. Re open it back up. Make the changes. Resave it and then resubmit it for a higher grade. You have 10 chances to reach 100% for all these assignments. So now I'm going to close this. And that is the end of Excel Module 1 SAM, end of module, project 1.